Farscape Engineers inspect the summary video Farscape number two and number three we're about to go and take a look at that one down there what is supposed to happen is that you're supposed to come off of this fire escape which we've already examined and marked and, and talked about in video then you're supposed to hit this corner here which is again has emergency issues here come up here and then hit this roof and a catwalk going down where Manny is now basically jumping down and there's ladders and stairs missing there walk across and feed that cantilever over there this is a pre-existing non-conforming issue that the city official must determine whether or not he wants us to put a catwalk system eight inches above grade railings on both sides feeding the people from here to there to the cantilever or if it'll allow this ladder to be reversed a hole to be opened up here and you go straight down to the ground with the same ladder but a new ladder completely all the way to the ground that then feeds that door down there which is enclosed with a chain that you can open it up at any time single action requiring no special knowledge it's the same egress for that stair that's there that's number one on this inspection that we're doing here so going down here again the city official will have his input onto what he wants to do but this is probably 75 feet of walking on a roof and the roof is made of tar and usually these are eight inches above grade but you get here and you got a transition down so there's a gate here and then we're supposed to get down here somehow and again let me I gotta let go of my camera and then you're supposed to jump down oh splash there's water accumulation here so come down from there come down across this come down to here I think we should eliminate if the city official will allow that over there should be just you know put a ladder to the ground because you already have a ladder going up you can have a ladder going down I believe that should be the case there if the city official wants a full set of stairs that's a different story they'll make that decision but uh, this area I believe there's an area up here that needs to be egressed out of here off of space or whatever and it goes down this way so as you walk down this way there may be a need to change and get this out of here this vent of some sort whatever this vent is doing I don't know but maybe it can be moved to a side or we can do a catwalk system or maybe there's no need for a catwalk system and that's the question for the city official can they come off of that do they need a catwalk system that walks here and feeds them or just a sim simple single line rail that brings them down again we'll discuss this with the city official and then they reach this fire escape here all right this fire escape was hit by a truck cantilevered unit this is way whacked over this is whacking over now right here and it's it's up against the it's up against the the uh, the cantilever it's non-functional it doesn't operate correctly so this is a life safety issue and I've put orange uh, issues on orange uh, coloring so again original hardware fire escape does not is must be structurally sound must be kept painted it's neither so we can't proceed to a low test has emergencies and right now the fire escape has got cement issues iron is too many issues so right now the paint again EPA says you can't paint this fire escape without having a renovators license because it has lead number two it's got structural issues so we can't low test or certify this fire escape in lieu of a low test it's got too many structural issues so original hardware everywhere you have a choice spot repair this fire escape then low test it or you can fully refurb this fire escape and this is this one is in that category fully refurb there is no load test for the next 15 to 25 years you still must do the examination every five but you'll have other evidence of strength so no cement on this upper bracket no cement there no cement there she's got this this cast steel pieces that are smashing up against the rails original hardware this thing is bent as you can see she's bending out so she may need to have this piece straightened out or um, because of the rust jacking that's happening look at the huge amount of rust jacking that's occurring right there huge amount there huge amount of rust jacking there the C channel is already split look see the split of the C channel C channel split there so that's an, another piece ready to rock and roll and drop the stairs are bent and warped they've had some uh, patches in here with some welds any of these welds 
need to be backed up and with both welds have already snapped in many cases you have rust jacking from underneath and below as you can see here so this fire escape is in pretty dire shape she's gonna need to be refurbished a lot of band-aid welding that just came in so instead of fixing it or rebolting it they undersized bolt plus the welding machine just went crazy over here and that's it so getting underneath you can see the first tread got really smashed so the first tread got really smashed she got twisted she got turned a lot of welded everything just sort of became a welded band-aid wasn't even a proper welder a lot of a lot of Mickey Mouse stuff here so this fire escape needs a full refurb she's also pulled away from the building and came so they put in this post they had to put in this post that basically they were unsure what was going on in the building she did pull away she did bend so it's probably, it probably a very significant hit happened many years ago so they don't have the ability to put the insurance company on this and as you can see the upper platform it's got holes in there so this does have some life safety issues and if they have to egress people up from above a couple of options do emergency repairs on this to make it functional until such time that permanent repairs take effect or immediately go into uh, permanent rep uh, permanent repairs to get this thing certified in lieu of a low test another option is you can mothball this and you can probably put in that corner some scaffolding so you rent it by the by the month temporary scaffolding OSHA approved up to the top and then it basically feeds the the um, people up above and the people from the other location so the OSHA approved scaffolding will make this site still functional until such time that repairs so you can mothball this until that repairs are done okay one other thing that's also included in this uh, inspection is going to be this staircase all exterior steel wooden stairs so this fire escape stair here, which is an egress out of this door, needs to be refurbished. Again, a lot of rust jacking going on, treads, it's all welded. So all these welded treads need to be reinforced. All welded connections, just sitting on the ground, rotting into the ground over there, rotting into the ground here. See the rust, the rust jacking happening there. See the rust jacking happening there. So that's gonna be part of this inspection, but this needs to be rebuilt as part of the rebuild on this Firescape here. Any questions? Firescape Engineers inspect the summary video. This is Cisco, Thank you.